When you make coils that are very small, and in this case they were wound on the end of a sharpie, then they often don't work very well at all. In this case, here's the very simple circuit, and I've got 12 turns, a centre tap and 12 turns for the driving coil, they're L1 and L2 on that diagram, and I've just got 12 turns for the little receiving coil. Now, if I switch it on, 1.5 volt AAA, and I place the one on top of the other, well, yeah, there's nothing going on. It doesn't seem to work at all. So the idea is to use ferrite. And what I'll do is I'll make my own, and put a piece of it underneath the driving coil, and let's see if it improves it. For the ferrite itself, I'll be doing some recycling. This is a very old... ATX board from about the year 2000 and what I'll do is I'll snap this transformer off and probably use the middle section, the round section or perhaps the sides, not sure yet, you'll find out in a minute but that's what I'll be using so it's now in a box and I'll smash it up and we'll see what kind of pieces we can get and it's really going quite well, these are going to be quite fine I'll carry on Next, I've transferred it from the cardboard box to a plastic box and separated out the larger pieces from the finer. The next thing to do is to put some glue onto a piece of paper and then just sprinkle onto the paper. There we go. Now, let's see how this goes. And it might go terribly, I don't know. A couple of spots look okay. Right, so shift that all around and let it dry. There we go, I've moved it around some. About as flat as I can get it. Right, I'll let it dry next. Now that it's dried out, what I'll do is use some scissors to cut the same size, cut around the main coil shape and then I'll be able to put the piece that's there onto it by gluing to the bottom of it. Alright, so I've cut the piece out of the sheet of it that we made outside. I've then glued it underneath the transmitting coil and now we can answer the question of whether that makes the receiver coil work or not. Pick this up, drop it on, and there we are, the light's on. It did indeed fix it. And when you consider that the coil was made on the very end of a Sharpie, wow, that was really too small for 30 gauge wire to have done anything. But the ferrite dust did sort it out and did make it work. So that's fantastic, just by using junk around the house that would have been thrown in the bin. Then we've enabled this to work. Okay, see you next time.